There are 10 essential things that every Muslim woman must know to protect herself in these challenging times. Number one, mental preparedness. It's important that you consider what you may not necessarily want to think about. What would you do if you were face to face with an attacker who is hurling racial slurs against you and is only seconds away from pouncing and attacking? The reality is our hate crime statistics have shown that those who are prepared against attack are often most successful in limiting the extent to which it can turn violent. Number two, be attentive. Always keep your eyes in front of you in public. While the busyness of our daily lives often includes sending multiple text messages, chatting on our cell phones, putting our headphones underneath our hijab, the reality is these things, if they're distracting, can be a signal to a would-be attacker that you are not paying attention. The perception of inattentiveness has been linked to the dangers we're seeking to avoid. If you're shuffling through your book bag or your purse for even a brief moment and your head is down, you could become a target. Number three, your clothing could matter. Wear shoes and clothes that give you the maximum freedom of movement, for it may be that you have to run away from an attacker. Number four, consider taking self-defense classes. Muslim women across the country have taken the lead in coordinating and leading self-defense and martial arts classes. Many Islamic and community centers are offering self-defense classes for free or at a discounted rate. In addition to the physical safety benefits from enrolling in a self-defense class, the other benefit is a shared experience that we Muslim sisters will have together. Learn more about the hijab grab unique defense technique. Number five, for those of you whose condition is such that you're often alone, you may want to consider carrying mace. Be mindful that what you're carrying could also serve as a barrier to attack. That includes an umbrella or even your keys. Number six, your safety may depend on you being a strong communicator. It's essential that you keep your family and close friends aware of your whereabouts. This includes the time you're likely to be home when they should expect you. For Muslim students on campus, it's best that your roommate or a close friend is aware of your schedule and what time to expect you. Number seven, trust your instincts. If you're uncomfortable in the situation, go with your gut. It's important that you get out of that situation. Number eight, always carry your cell phone with you and make sure that it's charged. Cell phone power banks are readily available and inexpensive. Invest in one. It may be that your cell phone is a lifesaver. Number nine, the best defense is escape. Remember, while each situation may be different, if you are in a dangerous predicament, do not try and win against your opponent. Escaping to safety is the most important thing. Number 10, call 911 immediately. Even before notifying your family or your friends, call 911 immediately if you suspect you're in danger. Hate crimes are bad news, but statistics have shown when people take common sense precautions and are vigilant, a lot of bad is prevented. The good news is Muslim women are measuring up against this big challenge. And the best news for us Muslim women, we will get through this together and we will emerge as strong as ever.